Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And is it afternoon? I'm sorry. COVID has kept him behind. We welcome the Minister of Agriculture, Iron Industry and Fisheries, Honorable Vincent Bamlanga Chisempija. He's accompanied by Mr. Julius Minamasko. He is the project coordinator of Uganda Multisector Food Security and Nutrition Project. You are most welcome, Honorable Minister. Uh, thank you, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, members of the press. Uh, today, we decided to get an opportunity to advise the farming community and the general public on agricultural and nutrition activities in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, fellow Ugandans, farmers and the general public. As you are aware, the entire world, including our country, is battling the coronavirus disease, COVID-19, that has claimed many lives and also caused a lot of anxiety among the population. We in the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, Maif, join His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda and our colleagues in other sectors, especially the Minister of Health, in the fight against COVID-19 pandemic. Following the Presidential Directives and the Minister of Health guidelines on COVID-19 pandemic, we wish to advise the farming communities and the general public on the agricultural and the nutrition activities that should be undertaken during the period of these directives. The COVID-19 pandemic has unfortunately coincided with the beginning of the cropping season uh, of the year 2020. And this is likely to affect the agricultural production and agriculture activities, particularly uh, the entire uh, production system. In spite of this pandemic, agriculture activities should continue and they need to continue, but with strict adherence to the directives from His Excellency the President and the Minister of Health guidelines. So the purpose of this message is to appeal to the farming communities and the general public to take advantage of the current rains to plant and manage crops, look after livestock and fisheries to ensure food, nutrition security and the income uh, during the the, this period of the scourge and after the pandemic. So the message is to farmers and the general public, while observing the presidential directive or directives and the Minister of Health guidelines, especially on mass gatherings, farmers should prepare their gardens and plant crops in order not to miss this season. In fact, we encourage and we call upon farmers to plant more, increase sizes of their acreage, but also use all uh, means to increase productivity. We need more food, 
today. We need more fruits today. We need more vegetables today and uh, in the future. Farmers and the general public are encouraged to produce and consume a balanced diet from crops, animals, and fisheries resources. In order to boost people's immunity to fight against diseases, including COVID-19, farmers are encouraged to grow a variety of food crops to diversify their diets. Farmers and the general public are encouraged to grow and consume horticultural fruit crops such as citrus, which include oranges, lemons, lime, tangerine, grapes, mangoes, pineapples, passion fruits, watermelon, and guavas. These are rich in vitamins and minerals and of course phytonutrients and these play a big role in boosting body immunity. Similarly, the vegetables and the vegetable crops including carrots, tomatoes, onions, cabbages, green pepper, leafy vegetables like amaranthus, dodo, or Buga, Nakati, African Nightshade, which we call Ensuga, or Enswiga, Gove, which sometimes in our language is called Jabio, or Jobio, or Akeo, Marakwang, Bu, or Ebo, should be eaten in combination because they are also rich in vitamins and minerals. Farmers and the general public are further encouraged to grow and consume biofortified nutrient-dense crops, such as vitamin A rich orange fresh, sweet potatoes, sometimes we call it, the scientific name is called Naspot B, Nasport 8 or Nasport 12 or Nasport 13. These are types of vitamin A rich orange fresh sweet potatoes. People also re, uh, take iron rich or iron and zinc rich beans and we have these in our systems from narrow, and the scientific name of these beans are, is called narrow bean 1, narrow bean 2, narrow bean 3, narrow bean 4C, and narrow, narrow bean 5C. So seed and the planting materials for the recommended crops can be obtained from the National Agricultural Research Organization, narrow registered seed companies, and certified industrial operators. To obtain maximum benefits from consuming nutritious foods, there is a need to observe the following hygienic practices in handling, preparing, and processing the meals. Use clean and safe water. Wash the hands with the soap. Avoid placing the foodstuffs on bare ground and the dirty surface and the dirty surfaces. Use clean stores. Use clean utensils. Appeal. I wish to appeal to the general public to comply with His Excellency the President's directives, especially the farmers, and strictly to adhere to the Ministry of Health guidelines on COVID-19 pandemic.
our farmers must remain alive and healthy so that they can produce for us food, fruits, and vegetables, and also meat, milk, and fish. So I encourage the farmers to continue with agricultural production and to always seek the necessary advice from the technical officers. Our technical officers, extension, are there in the sub-counties and we have not recorded them. They have to remain there to help the farmers to be able to produce more food. For further information, the Minister of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries will always remain open for the necessary technical support. I thank you for God and my country. Okay.